So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go along this entire lip line and just put a pin in it every once in a while here. Once you get all those pins put in, I've just got them going down both sides here. I'm just going to come along with my pin pusher and I'm just going to push them all into place. Make sure I don't pop them through the skin, but I can see as I'm pushing them too that the skin is tucking just a little bit more with every pin that I push. And those pins are going to anchor that in place, which is just what I want. Got them all pushed in. Go along your lip line, double check everything. Just feel along there. Make sure your white spots are all in place. I'm gonna work that glue back a little more. And this is a little bit goofy looking here just because everything's wet right now. So it's all squishy and I can just squish it out of place really easily. But don't worry too much because when we come back tomorrow and we re check everything, I'll be able to push that around a little bit more and it'll actually hold its shape. So now I'm just gonna go along, make sure everything's locked in place. Check my white spot on my, the deer's chest here. And then uh, we'll go ahead and flip everything back over. So things are getting a little more exciting now. Um, we're not, we're starting to see the deer take shape a little bit. It's a little goofy looking, but it's coming. Um, so I'm just gonna check my ears again, make sure that they're sticking in place. This one wants to fall down, but we're gonna anchor that later. Um, so for now, now we've got our mouth tucked. So now I can come in here and I can uh, get my nostrils where I want them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna make sure that that skin is laying nice and flat along the inside of the nostril. Once everything's in place, I'm just gonna hold my nostril where I want it and I'm going to just start packing some paper towel into it. Oh, if it will pack. <laughs> and this is gonna hold the skin of the nostril tight against the inside of the mannequin nostril. And as I do that, make sure that that's nice and tight. You want to make sure that your nostril stays in place though, where you want it. Comb it smooth. See how that's looking. And then we'll come over to the other side and do the same thing. So that's looking pretty good right there, I'd say. My nostrils are pretty lined up, pretty even. Um, and then what I'll do at this point is I'll just um, grab a big, big old T-pin. And I'm just gonna hammer a T-pin into each side just to hold everything in place. And I'll just push that in there and that'll just, that'll just keep it from coming loose on me while I'm working on 
the rest of them. Alright, so now we've got him all beautiful. Um, we're going to come along now and do the eyes. Hopefully I can get a shot of this for you before the camera dies. But basically, we're going to take our inner eyelid skin. So we've got these eyelids turned right here. We're going to just kind of rough everything into place here. And then once we get our eyelid skin, there we go. Now I can come in and find the corner of my eye. I like to start at the corner, and I'm just going to tuck this in under the clay that we have set in there. And I'm making sure that this is all tucked in, finding the corners of my eye. Once I get this done, I'm going to just get a rough eye shape. Again, I'm not going to worry too much about this today. I'm going to actually come back tomorrow and do the final eye sets. So I'm just trying to tuck that eyelid skin in, making sure that we've got a good solid foundation for when we come back tomorrow and set our eyes. And I want the eyelid, or the eyelashes, to be pointing down over the eye, not out. A lot of people point them out. And then I can come in here with my finger, and it's pretty gooey right now, so like I say, I'm not worried too much about making it perfect. And tomorrow we're going to come in and put a crease over this eye as well, right here, to make an eyelid. But for now, this is kind of all we're doing. We're just getting a really rough idea, rough shape. That's kind of it, and then pushing it in against the eye a little bit so that that clay is not too far out. And then uh, just making sure that our skin is laying flat here and not bubbled up. We've got a little bit of a bubble under there. There we go. And then for my, my tear duct, I'll just come in and I'll pack it into that slot that we made with the hole. Like that. And we just popped everything out of the way, that's okay. And now we've got some resemblance of an eye. I'm going to put pins in the tear duct the same way I did the mouth. So I'll come in on the corners. Sorry guys, this is another one of those moments where I have to apologize because my camera died. <laughs> anyway, sorry, the camera died and we had to uh, pause the video for a moment. I didn't do a whole lot, don't worry. I just, uh, I just did what I was doing when the camera died. I just kind of finished putting things in place like really roughly. The eyes are like jelly, but so um, we're gonna just leave them alone for now. I've got a rough eye set. I don't know if you can see them in the video really well. I'm not sure what you can see, but you know, there's the eyes. Um, she's a little rough right now around the edges, but I promise it will look good when we're done. Um, everything's just a little jelly right now. That's just part of the beauty of not having fully tanned capes, like, um, because we just do, uh, you know, our own version of a wet tan. So anyway, we uh, got everything in place. I'm gonna go ahead and card the ears now. I'm gonna put some wires in, they're set, but I'm gonna put some wires in just to hold everything in place. I'm gonna attempt to uh, stop bouncing Muriel. Um, easy kid. She heard me. But uh, anyway, that is my plan now. I'm gonna get this cape tacked on the back and then we're gonna hang him upside down. Just flip him upside down and let him, uh, let him dry for a night. And then we're gonna come back tomorrow and do a final set of everything. And he should be good to go on the wall for two weeks before we get to our finish work.
right, so this is the final product of today. Tomorrow we're gonna come back in and do the final setting, everything, before we hang them on the wall to dry for two weeks. Um, once he's dried for two weeks, we're gonna come back and do the finishing work. But here is the rough-in mount. <laughs>